so today we're going to show you how we cut out more intricate pieces like this angel first we make a clear template of it and cut it out so that we can then trace it onto whatever color we want it to be on and then beth is going to cut that out on our diamond saw so it's got a diamond blade to be able to cut through the glass You have to very slowly and carefully move the blade around the outline of the drawing that you put on the surface of the glass. If you move too quickly or press too hard, you will not only damage the diamond blade on the saw, but you will also get very jagged edges on the form that you're cutting out. Also, the glass could snap or you could snap your actual blade from the saw. So this is a very careful and slow process. There is a continuous cycle of water flowing through the saw in order to help cut the glass, but there are tiny bits of glass that are shooting off of this. That's why the protective gear is so important. You have to wear glasses, protective glasses, gloves, and also a mask whenever using this saw. Because there is so much water flowing through the blade, you have to use a paint pen to draw the outline of whatever you're cutting out. Otherwise, the image will just wash right off as you're trying to saw it. Once we're done cutting out the form, we go back and just make some adjustments to the detail, smooth out the glass. We use a grinder sometimes to smooth the edges of the glass so we don't have a rough edge. And we have to go in and take off any paint that was left on there from the paint pen that we used, we have to use a paint remover. If we do not remove that paint, it will remain on there when you fire it in the kiln and produce unwanted marks on your product. Once your item is ready to be fired in the kiln, it will go in for a schedule from anywhere from 10 to 14 hours, depending on what you're doing with that item. The temperature will range anywhere from 1200 to 1450 degrees. Again, that depends on what look and what exactly you are doing with that piece and how many layers of glass are in that piece. You want to go up slowly and come down very slowly to avoid thermal shock in the glass, which can actually cause the glass to shatter. angel so now we'll put her into the kiln to fire and smooth out all the glass and we'll add some adornments to her dress and um, some sparkle <laughs> 